Shot, how you feeling after that workout? Um, I'll be lying if I would say I'm not tired, yeah. <laughs> but I think it was a great day today, man. It feels good to be back home. Uh, it feels good to be back at the race facility. So, um, you know what I mean? Probably the last time I'm doing something as big as this out here, but uh, I feel like it was a good outing, man. And proud of everybody that came out here just beside myself, you know, everybody else that participated and all the guys that were training these last few months after the bowl game, man, is. It's a big opportunity for, for us. Um, you know what I mean? We love this game, so just glad we got this opportunity to come out here and showcase our talents, man. And um, you know what I mean? I think we did phenomenal today. How, how did you think you did specifically with some of the drills? I think I did really good, honestly. Um, you know, this is what I've been training for these last couple of months, you know, this, this day specifically. Um, you know, I feel like I had to come out here with a little chip on my shoulder um, just, to, just to prove all the people that's been down me or have some had some speculations or whatever it may be just to come prove those, prove those people wrong, come wake some people up, and uh, I feel like I did that today. Um, I don't think I performed as well as I wanted to on the 40. Not saying I didn't do good on it, but, you know, I got high expectations for myself. Um, but, you know, nevertheless, I feel like I did a great job today, um, and I'm proud of my performance. What was the number you heard on your 40, and what, what, what do you think you can do? Um, I heard high 4.4s, four low 4.5. Four uh, we really shooting for a low 4.4. Four four. Um, even 4-3, honestly, high 4-3. But, um, you know what I mean? We we take what we're given, man. And, you know, like I said, I'm happy with what I did and um, feel like I took, made made the most of my opportunity today. You had a really strong vertical. What was your reaction when you heard that number? Um, really wasn't surprised. Uh, like I said, this is something that I've been working for these last couple of months. So um, I feel like everything I put into my training is exactly what I got out today. What was the process of preparing? Like, you seemed really ready for all the different events and just the way things would operate. Um, you know, the process just process, uh, consisted of six days a week, uh, one day off, which was Sunday. Um, and we was going hard, you know, each and every day. Um, no days off. I didn't miss any workouts. And, you know, when we go up there to train, all that stuff is on us. So it's either we show up if we want to, we don't if we don't want to. And it's not like it's up here, like people are calling you, seeing where you're at. It's either you go or you don't. Um, and I made that an emphasis to make sure I showed up and uh, gave my all each and every day, regardless if I had 100% in the tank or 50, um, you know what I mean? And just coming out today, really just trusting my training, um, you know what I mean? Doing everything I was taught to do while I was up there in uh, Frisco. And, you know, big shout out to Exos, Brent Calloway and the team up there, man. They they really helped me to perform to the best of my abilities today, man. So um, it's it's... It was a great time, and you know, like I said, I feel like I really showcased what I could do today. Is it important to have a specific focus on these drills and the techniques it takes to get the best numbers out of yourself? Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like everything we do in this sport is all technique-based uh, to start off with. I feel like that's the foundation for everything, having a good technique. And there's so many little little details in all the drills and stuff that, you know, not, not that, that you wouldn't really notice or be able to know until you got into the fire of it, but um, you know, all those little things add up to the big things. Um, and I feel like if, if you pay attention to the little things, man, the big things add up and take care of themselves. And I feel like that really what happened today. What's next for you? Uh, we'll see. Um, you know, I came out here and did what I needed to today. And, you know, the next step is all in God's hands. So we'll see what happens after this point. But um, whatever happens, happens. And, you know, I'm blessed and um, thankful to be wherever, you know, God puts me. Have you gotten a sense of if you could be considered for a draft pick or what, what your opportunities might look like down the line here? I'm sorry? Have you gotten a sense of like you know what teams are looking at you or if you can be considered for a draft pick or what your next opportunity might look like? Uh, not really too sure right now. I'm hearing a lot of different things. Um, so, I mean, like I said, we'll see once we get to that point. Draft's a little over a month away, um, and a lot, a lot of stuff can happen between now and then. So um, we'll see, man. And regardless if I go in the first round, seventh, undrafted, you know, I'm, I'm going to be – Thank for any opportunity, any team that comes against me, and um, you know they're gonna get a leader, a hard worker, and um, you know a lot more once I get to wherever you know I end up. So um, look, really looking forward to the rest of this process, man, and um, blessed to say the least. You know all I needed was an opportunity. I feel like I got that today and was able to go out there and showcase my talents. How did the injury in the bowl game impact your preparation? What went into the process? Uh, it was a, it was definitely a big bump in the road for sure. Um, I had to stay down here for a little. A little over a month after the surgery, um, and I was itching to get up there. Um, you know, once I got up there, it was full full steam ahead. Um, and like I said, it took no days off. I was working out in the brace. Um, I was up there early, leaving late, and you know, I made sure I took advantage of every single opportunity I had while I was up there to be ready for today. Um, man, and it's been a long journey for sure. Um, you know, it's definitely been hard at times, but 
you know, I feel like those times are what build us for now. And um, blessed and fortunate for sure. And, you know, everything happens for a reason. So I feel like what happened back then is exactly why I'm where I'm at today. What was the injury specifically? Fractured my radio head and my elbow. Um, you know, I got some screws in there right now. Um, but honestly, it was a fast recovery. Um, I was back running within four weeks. And by the end of my training, before I came back down here, I was, I've was i been doing push-ups, dumbbell bench with 70s. So I'm feeling really good, you know. Um, the, my range of motion is really good. It doesn't bother me at all. So um, just blessed, man, to be in this position, to say that I've had all these injuries in this arm and, you know, come out today and nothing's bothered me. Was it disappointing not be able to do the bench through this process just because of that? Or how have you felt <laughs> nah, about not it? not at all. It's, it is what it is. I'm pretty sure I'll be benching a lot more after, after today. Um, Happy to say this will probably be my last 40. I ain't got to worry about that no more. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. Like I said, I feel like I took advantage of everything I had today, and I left it all out there. Thank you, Thank you.